Hello Colbot Forever here, this time bringing you a more in-depth look at picket lists and how to create, edit, and understand the syntax. First, we will navigate to the picket folder in Colbot. Open your Colbot folder, D2BS, Colbot, then picket. To make a picket list file to be used with Colbot is very easy. First, you can simply copy another .nip file and rename it. I highly recommend turning on file extensions in Windows to make changing files easier. To do this in Windows 10, go to View and check the box that says File Names and Extensions. You can also create a brand new picket file. Create a new text document in your picket folder. Name it whatever you like. Since you turned on your extensions, you can now change the file type as you rename the file as shown. Make sure to use the .nip as the extension. Next, visit the website in the description for all the picket info you could ever need. We will be going over quite a bit. Chapters will be in the description to skip ahead or backtrack if need be. As stated on the website, Notepad++ is recommended so that you can use a tool known as NipCheck to make sure your picket files are correct and without error. Picket lists can seem daunting, take it slow, and refer to the video and website if you get lost. Knowledge of the game will be needed in order to truly make a picket list effective. For example, magic items can only get two affix, one prefix, and one suffix. This is useful to know as other prefixes and affixes cannot apply to any magical item. What is a prefix and an affix? Simplified, they are the attributes that an item can spawn with. I won't go into depth in this video, but check out this website for affixes and prefixes if you want to learn more. Format for your picket list. If you are confused on item names and stats, refer to ntitemalias.dbl in your Colbot folder, located in D2BS, Colbot, Libs, Core, Game Data folders. Format for picket files are as follows properties, hashtag stats, hashtag max quantity. These go before the hashtag, type, name, class, quality, flag, level, prefix, and suffix. There are two attributes that go after the hashtag, stat keywords, number, or alias. These are attributes like skills and stats, for example. Comparison symbols are used to further narrow down an item's stats. Equals, greater than, greater than or equal to, less than, less than or equal to, not equal to, and or, and lastly group everything up. It's possible to be as specific as you wish. Some desire perfect items, while others need any version they can find. With proper editing, we can avoid problems such as the bot keeping items you don't want. I often get asked, why is my bot keeping X item? The answer is simple. You didn't edit the picket list properly. Item parser and syntax information. Keyword is separated into two groups. Property keywords will be type, name, class, quality, flag, level, prefix, and suffix. Stat keyword is either number or description. Max quantity refers to the number of said item you would like to keep. This will reset if you close the bot program or even in slash close the window where the bot is running. Keywords must be surrounded by square brackets. Take note, the and is not needed, replace it with the keyword and the square brackets on both sides. Property keywords must be placed first. Separate keywords and property keywords with a hashtag symbol. Use the comparison symbols to further narrow down specific attributes and their stats. Finally, use two forward slashes to comment out or not allow the bot to pick up a certain item. MF22 has provided some examples to help us understand all of this a little better. If we wanted rare boots, it would look like this. Usually, we don't just want random rare boots, however. We want a specific pair with specific stats. The next example is if we wanted the same rare boots with faster run walk of at least 10 and at least 10 fire resist. When we want to know what comes before the hashtag and what would go after, open up titemalias.dbj and search with the control plus F key to find what you need. You will be able to tell which is a property or a stat by finding its alias. Let's say we want to find faster run walk of at least 10, fire resist of at least 10, lighting resist of at least 10, 
or cold resist of at least 10, or any amount of decks. In the last example, we would keep a rare pair of boots with faster run walk 10, fire resist of at least 10, and lightning and cold resistances combined to be 10, or higher, or any amount of decks. Keep in mind the and or parts of the statements. We want this and that, or something else. Now we will add in class property. For example, we want only exceptional rare boots instead of any type of rare boots. The same line when you add the class and exceptional will now find that instead. As MF22 suggests, use simple qualifiers, especially if this is your first time. MF22 points out that rings, amis, and circlets are difficult, so he uses these two examples. Circlet, rare, adds to any skill level of any class of at least two or will add at least 2 to a skill tab, and has FCR of 20 or more, and strength of at least 10 or dex of at least 10 or faster run walk of at least 30, or 2 sockets, or mana and hit points that add up together to be 35 or higher. Will this particular line also find trash you don't want? Yes. It may also find a GFG circlet. We can always be more specific later if we want to. In the next example, MF22, has grouped attributes together to make it more specific. A circlet that's rare adds at least two skills from any character or adds a specific skill of at least two, an FCR of 20, and strength of at least 15, or dex of 15 or more, and faster run walk of at least 30, or a minimum of at least two sockets, or mana and health combined together to be 35 or higher. If you wanted to keep rare Amazon circlets that are not ethereal and have at least two to Amazon skills with faster run walk of 30 and two sockets, this line would fit that need. An example of a ring that is rare with life leech of at least four and attack rating of at least 80, dex of at least 10 and life of at least 20. Remember that these are specifying what the item must have. It may come with more, but at a minimum, these are the stats required in order to keep. Next, let's say we want to keep exactly three hell runes. This line would be what you would add. If you close or exit the bot window or the profile manager, it will start over its counting. This means that even if you had three already, it would start over and keep three more. The reason we use two hashtags is that runes have no stats. Other runes and gems would also qualify. This doesn't mean in game the items have no stats. This is for the purpose of syntax and must be correct. After that, let's take a look at how to keep items unidentified. Any line in your picket without requirements for stat will keep that item unidentified. It won't check against other picket lines that are the same item that wishes to be identified with certain stats. This means you will need to make sure not to double up if you wish to have certain stats instead of unidentified. It's suggested to make sure you look through first and see if that's the case using the Find and Files tool in Notepad++ here, are examples of unidentified items we want to keep. The first is a COA next would be any unique ring and last any unique amulet. This is handy if you want to identify items yourself, sell on JSP as unidentified, or like me, a video on many items being identified at once. Sorry for the transition to a different voice, the other isn't working. Moving on. MF22 goes over a few more common questions. I will go over the ones I feel are most likely to come up. Why does my bot keep picking up magical items when I don't have any on my picket list? Make absolutely sure you don't have any magical items that aren't commented out, then if you're sure, check and see if greater than, or equal to, or less than, or equal to, are being used on normal or rare items. How can I pick up and sell items for gold? You can do this by adding an impossible affix after the hashtag example he gives is an elite item with strength greater than or equal to 1000. You can also use a line to pick up gold specifically like this. How come for Viper Maji you only use firers instead of using all the resistances? If the item is unique and has all res we don't need to have all the qualifiers as one will suffice. Remember the bot only picks up and keeps what you tell it to. You are responsible for your own picket files slash lists. I hope this helps and if it did leave a like and subscribe. Have a good one see you next time.